since Steve Wilkes took over as Panthers head coach, their identity has changed, meaning they run the football now, which is surprising because you trade Christian McCaffrey over to the 49ers and it's like, wait a second. Well, you're running the ball and the stats don't lie. The Panthers lead the NFL and rushes between the tackles and are second in rushing yards between the tackles since week seven. So when Wilkes took over as the interim for Matt rule and Ike, I'll say this, if he leads the Panthers to the playoffs and the Panthers are in control of their own destiny. If they went out, they're in. Yeah. If he gets yeah. the Panthers in after the brutal start that they had under Matt Rule, yeah. you have to strongly you gotta consider. consider. Yeah. Yeah, you got to consider. Milks for the head, Matt, for the head job. Go Mark, ahead. Mark, I agree with you 100%. Um, you, sh- you, you have to strongly consider, unless the owner wants to just clean slate, but – if the Panthers sneak in the playoff off of how they started, off of the firing during the season with the head coach, Matt Rule, and them boys get enough, you got to consider. Because one thing I will say, first of all, next year you're going to have some really good draft picks off of CMC, letting Christian McCaffrey go. Second of all, you're doing exactly what you need to do and you're creating an identity for your team. And what's that? Running the ball, controlling the clock, and playing good defense. It's right now like the Tennessee Titans way. We're going to run the ball, Mm. we're going to control the clock, and we're going to play good defense. Now, is it the sexiest? Is it the flamboyant way of winning games? No. Is it the Patrick Mahomes way? No. Is it the Josh Allen way? No. Because they don't have a Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes kind of quarterback. But, yeah, do we want to give ourselves time, a chance in every game? Yes. Well, how do you do that? You get you, you catch your running game and you play good defense. Exactly what the Tennessee Titans do. So yeah, for that for, for Coach Wilkes, I agree with you one hundred percent, Mark. If he gets this team into the playoffs, strongly, 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 strongly consider giving this man the head coaching job. It's funny you mentioned the Titans earlier, Ike, because I'm looking at okay, who's who are the Panthers running back since they traded over CMC? Deonta Foreman, who spent several years back Texas, in Derrick Henry. With the Titans. And then Correct. Chuba Hubbard, the stud out of Oklahoma State. Who, yes. I remember when Hubbard was in college, he had a 2,000-yard season in college, and they play like 12 games. So he's good at they got two rock, too. Hey, Mark, they got two running backs that, that damn near broke a lot of college records when it came down to the running game. Yeah. For, Foreman was a stud at Texas. Mm-hmm. And we all know what trouble we're doing, so – if if I feel like these are my two best and most consistent players on my offense, what the heck do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to run the damn ball. Y'all belly about to be tired as hell because I'm about to put this football in y'all belly damn near 40 times a game. Yeah, I can you mention with Wilkes with the full-time role, you at least have to consider it. And if you if you don't hire him, you better hit a home run. When I you say, listen to the players, Ike. Listen to what Bro. Shaq Thompson says, yes. speaking for the locker yes. room, a respected yes. veteran saying about Wilkes. I'm going to just read you yes. a quick quote, quote. He's okay. a true alpha. He's a true leader. Guys follow behind him. He's a great coach. And I hope he's here for a while. End quote. Hey, listen, what Mark, I need to know. He, he, he traded, he traded CMC, right? Which, which was a hell of a trade for San Fran. And obviously, it's going to be a good trade with the draft picks for the Carolina Panthers. Then he messed around, and he got rid of a bad seed in Roby Anderson, so say, at the wide receiver position. This is what you're not going to do. You're not going to disrespect the team. You're not going to disrespect my coaching staff. And you definitely ain't going to disrespect me. Trading him as well to Arizona. So – and when players see that, they got to fall in line because you got to understand in the football world, it's organized violence. So you got to you got to know that my mentality got to be wired different as a head coach because I'm a head coach and I'm creating a atmosphere. I'm asking guys to run into guys 50, 40, maybe 100 pounds different than them every damn play. So a few of your screws got to be loose. Now, as a coach, to have respect from your players, an alpha, talking about another alpha, 
says a lot about the coach. So the reason why they're playing like this for Steve, for Coach Wilkes, they respect him. And when you, and that's all you can ask as a coach or as a person, just give me some kind of respect. So, like I said, like you talked about, highly consider, depending on how the season go with the Carolina Panthers, um, Coach Wilkes as a head coach. Because we say it all the time now. You've been on the show with me for about two and a half, three years. Mm-hmm. Hey, players ain't going to lie to you. They're going to tell you the truth. All you got to do is listen to their post or their pregame speeches. They letting you know everything that's going on in the locker. They letting you know if players like other players. They just letting you know. And we take from that and we put our two cents in and we evaluate how and what we want to say. But, yeah, Mark, uh, for Shaq to come out and say this about Coach Wilkes, they always felt like he should have been the coach because that's the whisper. Yeah, we love Coach Matt Rule. He's our head coach right now, but they got a coach sitting right behind him that he's really our head coach. This is how players talk. 